is Donald Manley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show, and you won't believe how many times I've had to do this opening. I am not a paid professional. My job was white fires, save lives. So here we go with this great cliffhanger, Pirate's Treasure from 1934. Aviator Dick Moreland uses his winnings from a recent flight to fund an expedition for a treasure buried by one of his ancestors. You might want to check your family tree and see if you have any pirates and if they left you any buried treasure. But Moreland's treasure map is stolen and that leads us into today's adventure. So here we go with the first couple chapters. Thanks for tuning in and I finally got through it. <laughs> Attention, please. Dick Moreland's plane has just passed over the Los Angeles City Hall. Dick is ahead of all world's records for a solo flight. There he comes. Yeah, it's Dick Moreland, all right. There he is, our own Dick Moreland with the world's record and the $25,000 prize. Give him a big hand. Hey, 
I want you to meet a new member of the club, Mr. Brassett. How do you do, Mr. Brassett? Congratulations, Mr. Marlowe. Thank you. Now, Dick, tell it. Yes. All right. On one condition. Let me call up my home first. All right, Dick. Let's right. make it snappy. Yes. All right. Make it snappy. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Mr. Morland's residence. Mr. Robert Morland, please. One moment, please. Home, sir. Hello. Hello. Dick! Well, I'm glad you're back safe and sound. How are you, my boy? Well, tell me all about it. I'm all right, Uncle Bob. But you would like to be home with you. But they give a little reception at the club here tonight for me. Well, have a good time, Dick. It's coming to you. I'll tell Sir John about your trip. And tell him it won't be long until we find out if he was on the level about that gold. All right, Dick. No, I won't wait up for you. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sir John, your blood surely flows in Dick's veins. Be it pirate blood or not. Well, Dick, your refusal of the flattering offers made you make us believe you had a secret motive in making this flight. How about it? You were right. You promised to keep it a secret? I'll tell you my motive. Oh, go on, Dick. Shoot the works. The glory meant nothing. And the money paid me by the aviation company to pilot their plane around the world was not the inducement. But with the money, I'm going to accomplish a lifelong ambition. Another flight, Dick? No. An expedition. An expedition? An ancestor of mine. A pirate, if you please. Buried a lot of gold on a tropical island. In our safe at home, we have a parchment showing the location. You may laugh at the idea, but I thought enough of it to risk my neck on the flight. Well, where is it, Mr. Morland? Let us in on it, Dick. Pirate gold, huh? You know, I've had one experience with pirate gold. You have? Then you're just the man I want. A man with experience. Yes, but I'm afraid it was a rather sad experience. The only gold came out of my own pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. But this is different. Now, here's how I'm going to buy it. I've just taken on a big job. Kurt, you know the Moreland home? Dick Moreland's? Sure. Well, in the Moreland safe, there's an old parchment marking the location of some buried treasure. Sounds good. There'll probably be a lot of excitement up there until Moreland gets home and into bed. So you'd best hold the job until early morning. Just about daybreak. Yeah. Jed, you drive the car. We'll have Tony get Marge and follow in another car. In case we want to make a switch. Right. All right. Now, we'll work it this way. Kurt, you get everything set. Keep the change. Thank you. Well, Sir John, I won. Now I'm going to find your pirate gold.
for those laggards to scuffle us. chart of its location. Oh, chart in here. Look, Jed, the chart. The boss will be tickled to death when he sees this. Come on, get going. Oh, that's all right. You know my father, John Craig? The 
president of the International Airways? Yes, I'm Dorothy Craig. Well, I'm delighted to know you. Won't you please follow that car? What do you, you want to follow it? them for? What did they do? Oh, I tell it to you later. But we got to catch him. Okay. We got to catch him. with Moreland right on his heels. Follow them.
Sure, we'll help no, him. No, you can't do that. Come on, get her. Why take the girl? Because she's seen us and we'll be able to recognize it. Get out of here before we're seen by somebody. So would you for this chart. It locates millions in pirate gold. Well, Moreland won't trouble us anymore. Oh, yeah? He's right in back of us now. Come on, step on it. just drove in here. That seven passes is in. Ain't been no car in here in the last half hour except yours. Why, I think I saw a car come in here. What do you think I've done with it, Edit? You better change your bootlegger. Any orders for me, boss? Not yet. Any more nuts you want fixed? You might work on this one. Well, from the way things look around here, I, I guess I was wrong. You sure was, fella. You better go home and sleep it off. Thanks. I'll do that. That step was easy. Well, you put it over on him, all right. I've got to report to Brassett. Tell the others to come to the sky room as soon as they've locked up the girl. Right. that window. It's five stories, straight down. Kurt wants you guys up in the sky room right away. Okay.
got it? Kurt speaking. Well, did you get it? Sure, we got it. Yeah, Moreland passed the chart to a girl, so we brought her along. All right. Guard that girl carefully. Find out who she is, and remember, she can identify every one of you. The boy just come in. I'll have Mike look the chart over and report to you later. Well, boys, we'll see what a pirate chart looks like. Well, Mike's the only sea dog among us. What do you say, Mike? Is it the real thing? Yeah, it looks genuine. The fella that drawed this was sure a mariner. And it's old enough to be the real thing. Say, where is this island? When do we go? You don't go. It's in the South Seas and a man's job. No help here, Tony. Get on and keep an eye on the girl. You're right. Latitude and longitude are just a lot of words to me. Oh, what's that, Mike? find a way to get out somehow. Hey, do you know where those men are? They said something about a sky room. Sky room? Yes. Yeah. How did you get loose? This old pirate, Sir John Moreland, was an ancestor of young Dick. And he buried millions in gold on this island. How did Brassett get wise? You're always asking foolish questions, Marge. If you must know, Dick told some friends at the Aereo Club. And Brassett was sitting in on the chatter. Craig, your car is just around the corner on River Street. Wait for me there. What are you going to do? Find a sky room. I've got to recover that charge. Oh, they'll kill you. Let me call in the police. No, not yet. There's too much at stake. You wait for me 20 minutes and then call the police. All right, Dick. Come on now. You go down here. Be careful. Think about it, we don't know. You better go down and find out. This island here.
Now, Mike, you're sure you gave me all the dope on this chart? There he is, boy! more places at the same time. Come on, we'll try and hit him off the other way.
like to be in more places at the same time. Come on, we'll try and hit him off the other way. Push your move. You're lucky, but it's worth the risk. To get this. You've recovered your treasure chart. Oh, I'm awfully glad. Now, where do we go? Well, I guess we both had enough for one day. So if you'll take me home, I'll be more indebted to you than I am already. Look, there's the girl. How did she get out? Yes, and there's Marlon. Let's go get him. Not a chance with that crowd around. We'll round up the others. I'm very sorry to have exposed you to all this danger. Oh, please don't worry. When I almost hit you this morning, I was on my way for an early morning flight from my plane, hoping to get a few thrills. I hope you haven't been disappointed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we can. What's up, Marge? The girl, she's gone. Yeah, we saw her. And Tony's in there, out. He must have stopped a hot one. I've had my experience with Moreland. And he sure does pack a wallop. Jed, you and Marge take care of Tony. I've got to tell Brassett what happened. Come on, men. Brassett, Moreland got the chart away from us. Kurt, I can hardly believe you're dumb enough to let a thing like that happen. Now get this. Moreland's probably gone home. I want him watched every minute. Find out who that girl is. He managed somehow to get her away before we even learned her name. You come over here. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be right over. Why don't you call in the police? Well, it really isn't a police matter. But maybe I had better on your account. Oh, no, please don't. If Father knew, he'd probably forbid my early morning flight. Looks like we have to keep it a secret. But I would like to tell you what it's all about. Oh, I'm just dying to know. Won't you come in and see Uncle Robert? He'd never recognize you, the same little girl he used to know. <laughs> and then we can talk about the chart. Oh, marvelous. Dick, what happened? Plenty. Tell you all about it later. Miss Craig, I'd like to have you meet my uncle, Robert Morlin. How do you do, Mr. Morlin? Not John Craig's little girl. <laughs> I'm afraid so. My, my, I'm older than I thought. <laughs> uh, come, Dick, sit down and tell me all about it. Uh, so one man was able to outwit your entire outfit, huh? One man of young Moreland's caliber, he's dynamite. Yeah? Well, even dynamite can be handled. Did you get any information from the chart? No. It was complicated, and we didn't have it long enough. But Mike says he believes it's genuine. Jed and Mike are trailing Moreland now. We'll have another look at his safe tonight. 
I'll never find the chart in that safe again. Marla's too smart for that. Now, we've got to get after him in earnest if we want to get in on that gold. Now, listen. I want you to round up. So you see, their reason for wanting this chart is it shows the location of a gold treasure buried years ago by our hired ancestors. And you're going after it. Someone doesn't beat us to it. It puzzles me to try to think who could have learned about the chart. There must have been a leak somewhere. There's been a leak, all right. But it's hard to believe it could have been up the Aero Club. I'm going there tonight, and I'll warn the crowd to be careful. That's the girl's car, all right. Kept the license. I'm on radio to the boss. He wants to know who she is. I got it, all right. I suppose your next move will be to get a ship. Yes, but we've got to be very cautious about it. You know, I was just thinking. My father has just the ship for you. That's interesting. What is it? The Lottie Carson. He uses it to carry planes to foreign countries. LZ, calling 4-1. LZ, calling 4-1. This is 4-1. Go ahead. All right. You two cover Moreland's every move. Right. Now we'll find out who that girl is. Dorothy Craig. John Craig's daughter, eh? Why, he's president of International Airways. Where does she figure in on this deal? I don't know. But keep her out of it if you can. That sounds like the kind of a ship I want. If you like, I'll ask Dad to meet you at your club tonight. That would be great. But don't tell him of our experience. He might worry. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. Something important to say to you. Has Mr. Craig been here? You mean old J.C.? Yes. He hasn't been in tonight. I thought I was among friends last night when I told you about my secret. <laughs> Why, there was a leak. And two men entered my house and stole the chart. Huh? And I had a hot time getting it back. You're joking. No, I'm not. I was never more serious. Hey, Brassett, you're in on this. Dick here is riding us for talking a little too much about his pirate gold. <laughs> Why, was this a joke? No, this is serious. And I want you fellows to know that any careless conversation about the chart outside the club might be dangerous to me. Well, you haven't lost the chart, I hope. Not yet, but I came near doing so. How? Well, that's a secret between the chart and myself. Have you called in the police? No, I have good reason to keep them out of it. Hello, Dick. Hello, Mr. Craig. I'm glad to see you, Moreland. And to congratulate you upon your wonderful flight around the world. Thanks. Uh, by the way, my daughter was telling me that she gave you a lift this morning. She certainly did. But you don't know the half of it. Probably not. I never do. Mr. Craig, I'd like to have a confidential talk with you. All right. Shall we go up to the blue room? Well, I prefer my home if it's agreeable with you. It's quite agreeable. Let's go. Don't forget, fellas. Mom, the work. Okay. Okay. Moreland is taking Craig home with him. Listen in on them and contact me at the office. Right.
My daughter was telling me something of your plans, Dick. She said that you wouldn't mind. Certainly not. I'm more interested than you know. Keep the motor running. I think I have an asset that uh, should entitle me to a partnership in your enterprise. You mean the uh, Lottie Carson? Yes, she's just the ship you need. She's back now from a record trip to Pago Pago. You'd be interested in joining me? I certainly would. Not for the gold, of course, but for the thrill of it. Who could resist the lure of hidden treasures? I'll equip the ship according to your direction with everything you want. Why not come down tomorrow and look her over? She's anchored off Newport Landing. I'd like to. All right. I'll have Dorothy pick you up and uh, take you down in the car. You might as well know right now, Mr. Craig, I'm being shadowed. We'd have to work in secret if the gang after that chart. You don't mean it. I certainly do, and I'm not going to endanger your daughter. What would you suggest? We'd have to make some effort to throw the enemy off the track. Oh, that ought to be easy. Have Dorothy pick you up as though she were going for a ride. Then head over to the uh, coast uh, highway and then come on down to the landing. I'll do that. You sure it won't give you too much trouble? Oh, no trouble at all. I'm going to be down there tomorrow anyhow. Not a bit out of my way. Yeah. Let's go. Morland's remark meant only one thing to me. I believe he's going to carry the chart with him hereafter. Wait a minute. One speaking. Go ahead. Okay. Stand by until you're relieved. Yeah. Morland and the Craig girl are going to Newport Landing tomorrow to inspect Craig's ship, the Lottie Carson. Great. That'll be our chance to get that chart. Remember, I don't want any gunplay. Just get him and search him for the chart. That's easier said than done. It's got to be done. Trail him. Plant another car on the road so that you can switch to it if necessary. You know the stretch of the highway about five miles south of the old mission? You mean where there's a bridge over the railroad tracks? Yeah. Well, if Morton makes a run for it, you might trap him on the bridge. Use a truck to block him. I'll leave the details to you. But get that chart. Look, I believe that car's following us. Must be the men after that chart. Looks like the same gang. Them. You know, they might have taken another road in order to head us off. You're right, Dorothy. I'll grab that motorcycle. Then they follow me. You fix things with its owner and meet me at the boat landing. Moreland was wise to our close car following him. This switch may pull him. Now be careful. I'll keep out of sight with the close hat and stand by for a pickup. Okay. Get going. Say, what's the idea of that guy run away with my motorcycle? Get in here. I'll explain later. Well, you'd sure have to. 
But what is this, a publicity gig? There goes one on that motorcycle. Give me the radio. I'll warn the truck if Moreland's coming on a motorcycle. He can't get away. We're running him straight for the trap of the bridge.
I'm driving, sister. Do you happen to have a gun? Say, what is this? Mr. Moreland has a very valuable paper that those men are trying to get. I'm believing it's what I see it. Morland's trying to hurt. Get that truck out of the way. What are you going to do? Board the train. It's the only thing we can do. We've got to get that truck. Come on. What are you trying to do? Kill yourself? No, I'm trying to avoid being killed. That gang up there had me trapped. Say... Ain't you Dick Moore in the aviator? <laughs> That's me, all right. Gosh, you might have known you were sailing through the air like that. What happened? Well, I'll tell you.
Come on, let's get this bus out of here. before she gets to Moreland. No, no, just must up a little. I'm sorry, mister, but I wrecked your bike. I'll tell you all about it as we go. Oh, that's all right, Moreland. Lucky break you didn't get wrecked. Newport Landing, Dorothy. Turn to the right of the first crossroad, and we have to step on it. Did you get the charge? I knocked that guy off the train. Didn't you see him? Certainly not. Was he killed? Not a chance. He jumped up and run like a rabbit. Where's the chart? I don't know. Get in the car. Just as I told you, that crate girl picked up Moreland. Give me the radio. I want to call Brasson. LZ calling 4-1. LZ calling 4-1. Now, you boys understand that Dick Morton expects to use this ship on a treasure hunting expedition. Yes, sir. Now, someone has learned of this and is making desperate attempts to get Morton. So keep your eyes open. We understand, sir. Leave it to us. Now, pick up Morton, my daughter, at Newport Landing, Pier 3. Craig has told us about you. You can count on us if there's any trouble. That's good news. Well, let's go. Okay. All right. Craig's boat is picking up Moreland and the girl at Pier 3. Good. Get going, Joe. Keep well out, and when we're out, the traffic rush them. All right, take her out. Get for 
Anything yet, Cap? Just picked up two boats off to the leeward, Mr. Craig. Can't make them out, but they're acting queer. They've 
attacked Moreland and my daughter. Bert, let's get that other boat off. Yes, sir. behind one of those boats at anchor. I want to watch Craig and Moreland. Head for the yacht club, Bert. Miss Craig needs medical attention. I'm all right, Daddy. Please, let's go on. Are you sure you are, dear? Yes, I'm all right. All right, Bert. Back to the ship. They're heading back towards the lot of Carson. Let's jump them there. No, there are too many for us. And Moreland alone is tough enough. I can't see them. They show me the fast getaway. We'll report this to the police. It's an outrage to attack people in public waters in this Please fashion. Please call Mr. Case. It's only yourself for visiting. And too many people know what the treasure now is to be. That's right, Daddy. Publicity would seriously interfere with his plan. What mystifies me is how they knew I was coming to your ship. Well, the only place we discussed it was in your home. The leak must be there. That doesn't seem possible. There's no one there but my uncle. And the butler. He's been with us for 20 years. Boarding a lot of Carson, all right. Head for the dock. Everybody safe and sound? A little wet, but that's all. Captain Carson, I want you to meet Dick Moreland. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? Now, Dorothy, you better run along and get into some dry things. All right, Daddy. How about you, Dick? No, oh, I think I let my canvas dry on me. Spoken like a true sailor. There are some whites in my locker, Miss Gregg. I'll show you. Oh, don't bother, Captain. I know my way around the ship. Three masters, hey? Schooner rigged. She couldn't be any better for our purpose if my pirate ancestor, Sir John Morland, had built her. Well, there's one thing quite certain. She's seaworthy. She should be, with those lines. I'd like to see her in full spread of canvas. <laughs> you will. Just be patient. Now, Dick, I have the utmost confidence in Captain Carson. I'd like to have you show him the charts of the Treasure Island. Better go to my quarters, Lynette. This Craig has probably changed by now. I hope so. Mr. Craig tells me you have a lot of faith in your chart. Yes, I have. I've seen lots of treasure hunts. Most of them end in disaster. <laughs> but not this one. I'd like to see your chart, if I may. Oh, certainly. While you gentlemen are looking at the chart, I'll change into some dry clothing. All right.
You fellas stand by. I'll find Simmons in the car and radio brass it. The man who made this map was a mariner, all right. It looks genuine to me. Thanks, Captain. I'm the only one in my family who really believes in it. Uncle Robert pretends he does, but I have a feeling he's just humoring me. Well, it looks all right to me. My faith in it was strong enough that I made a solo flight around the world to win enough money to equip this expedition. Captain, what do you figure this treasure could be? Well, one of the smaller islands of the old Spanish main. Just off the Panama coast. Then it's liable to be inhabited. More than likely by wild beasts, or still wilder savages. There are cannibals down that way, too. Cannibals? What luck? Mostly bad. I've got to call Brasset. All right. Never mind the excuses. Moreland just outsmarted you, that's all. Now get this. I want you to stand by the Lottie Carson. Don't lose sight of Moreland and don't come back without that chart. All right. I'll keep on the job. Boy, was he burned up. Come back with me, Simmons. I'll need all hands for the rest of the job. Lock the car. Well, Moreland, you see what you're in for now, don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> I really don't think we should go, Daddy. We? Why, my dear girl, you don't think for a moment that I would take you on such an expedition, do you? And you don't think for a moment that I'd let you go on such an expedition without me, do you? All right. You win. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do, Joe. We'll lay to far enough off the lot of Carson so that we can see them through glasses. But they can't see us. All right, take her out. Well, I hardly expected just to go there and pick up the treasure and come home with it. But if you folks don't want to go, well, that's all right. But I'm going. Daddy, I think we'd better go ashore. I don't feel so good. I should have taken you ashore to see a doctor in the first place. I'll do it now. I'll go with you. No, please, Dick. Stay here and finish what you started to do. If nothing serious, I'm just tired. I'll take Bert and Salty along with me, Dick. Uh, Captain Carson will show you the boat while we're gone. All right. Your head there. Something's happening aboard the Lottie Carson. Let's see. I hope you keep that a door. Thank you, Dick. I'll be ashore in an hour or so. All right. You know, a ship's no place for a girl. Oh, she's a fine one. I think she is. Come on, I'll show you about. Three of them are taking the girl away in a boat. Is Moreland with them? No, he's staying aboard. Good. Head for the Lottie Carson and take it easy. I want you to take a look at the hole, Dick. There's space enough down there for 460 tons. 460 tons? Mm -hmm. That's great. Great. They've all ducked out of sight. Speed up, then shut off, and we'll drip down on her. Go ahead, I'll follow you.
Listen, honey, we'll go up to the clubhouse and I'll phone Dr. Dunn. But, Daddy, I don't need a doctor. Daddy knows best. All right. I say you have plenty of room down here. You know, Morton, we've got a couple of auxiliary motors on this boat. Come on, I'll show them to you. This is going to be easy. What are you doing on board? I'm looking for Dick Moreland. Where is he? I don't know whether it's...
Well, that's that. We've got what we want. We'll pick up Mike and go ashore. Wait a minute. The captain's coming, too. Let's finish it. Come on. We've got no time for him. Joe, while I radio the boss the good news. If we're not back in 20 minutes, forget us. Come on, boys.
sorry, Alzheimer, but I had to knock your clothes. LZ calling 4-1. LZ calling 4-1. This is Bressett. Bert reporting. Yes, we got the chart, and Moreland met with an accident. He's at the bottom of the bay. Okay, fine. Jed will pick you up at the Oaks Garage. Come directly here. Any orders for the boys? Maybe that didn't shoot a lot of joy into the boss. Getting the chart and getting Moreland out of the way. Get us to pick us up at Oak's Garage. Let's get out of here. What happened, Dick? More trouble? Those folks bought a lot of costumes and got away with the charge. Oh, Dick, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, we'll get it back. May I use your car? Why, certainly, but be careful. Those men are desperate. I know they are. I think Dorothy is right, Dick. We should call in the police. What, and have every newspaper in town print the story? And what if they do? Why, every crook in the country will be on our trail. Well, anyway, I'll send one of my men along with you. You may need help. Thanks, Mr. Craig, but we've got to work fast. Oh, Bird. Oh, Bird. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'll phone you what happens. After I take Dorothy home, I'll be at the aero club. You will be careful, won't you, yes, Dick? Ah, uh, Bert, go along with Mr. Marlowe, will you? Yes, Mr. Craig. May I see you tonight, Dorothy? Why, of course, Dick. I'll be waiting and anxious. Come on, let's go. Come on. What's the matter with you punks? Don't you know enough to put air in your tires? A couple of you fellas change that wheel. Then beat it to the sky room. We'll wait for you there. Come on. We have to take that chance. I can't afford to lose sight of him. Well, it's all right with me, Mr. Moreland. dumb enough to think he was in the bottom of the ocean. Come on, let's follow him.
Bert, I'm going to take the upper road. You take the wheel when I tell you. gets that chart away from Kurt. to get Paula before he gets that chart away from Kirk.
Morton. He's got more lives than a cat. get out of this alive? I don't know. Did you get the chart? I had it just before the crash. It must be around here somewhere. Look! Say, is this it? Yes. I should say I was lucky. What happened to the gang? Well, they jumped just before the car went over. And I took that lower road to get down here to you. We better get out of here before they discover us. Yeah. Come on. We'll head him off on the lower road and get that chart. charge back again. Yeah, you'll tell him after this train gets by. That last stunt lost him. We'll go to my home now. Then to the air club. And then I'll thank you if you return the car to Miss Craig. All right, sir. Moreland got the chart away from us. Well, it's evident if I want anything done, I must do it myself. Brassett, do you know that this treasure chart is really on the level? We may be on a wild goose chase. Do you suppose Moreland would have risked his life over and over to keep it if it were a fake? He might be wrong about it himself. But he's not. It's the chart I've been seeking for five years. and locates the very treasure we went after on our trip. Only we had the wrong chart that time. You say you heard Moreland tell Craig to wait for him at the Aero Club? That's correct. Well, I'll be there also. They've already asked my advice about the trip. This time I'll give it. Maybe you can get them to take you along. I intend to. But they're going to have to coax me a little. We'll lay off trying to get the chart and work from this other angle. It'll be more difficult, but 
That's the way we'll have to handle it. Brass is interested in our trip before. He's had a valuable experience in treasure hunts. I know he could be great help to us. Yes, but my experience was pretty costly. You see, I chartered a good ship and manned her with an excellent crew. It won't cost you a cent this time, Staley. I'll trade you part of my share for your experience. <laughs> you tempt me strongly, Mr. Craig. And I can assure you there's a lure to me in a treasure hunt. But I'm afraid my business won't permit my going. Perhaps you can put us in touch with uh, your excellent crew that ship with you. I could do that. I had a first officer named Drake who might be available. And he could round up a few of the sailors for you. They have to be loyal and dependable. It's too much at stake to take a chance. I can assure you that Drake is 100% loyal. Now that's fine, Brassett, but after all, we want you. <laughs> well, I'll see about it. And you consider going? To be frank with you, I'd love to, if I can get away. Then that settles it. Now we'll get down to the detail. Let's go to my home. We have a little more privacy there. <clears throat> no, there was a leak there last time. Not anymore. I have a new watchman. All right. I'll phone Dorothy to pick me up there. Uh, by the way, Dick, Dorothy seems to have changed her mind about going. You mean she wants to go now? Yes. I agreed too readily with her when she decided against it. <laughs> Thought she might be missing a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, fellas, aren't you going to break up? Uh, well, you got to go in training for the trip. Dorothy, you here so soon? I've made up my mind to go on this trip and intend to be in on everything from now on. Miss Craig. Mr. Brass. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Craig? Dad said he was going to insist on your going, Mr. Brass. And he always has his way. Oh, yes? Except for your concerns, my dear. <laughs> Sit down and make yourself at home. Thanks. I'm in favor of getting underway as soon as possible. Right. I'll have the ship walk to the dock tomorrow. Say, you know, I've got a whole storehouse full of equipment from the other trip. They might as well use that. Well, I intend to supply the most modern equipment. A knockdown plane, a diving outfit, field radio set, motorcycle, explosives. In fact, everything that we might need. You're right, Mr. Craig. The goal may be buried. Or underwater after all these years. Well, you'll surely be prepared for any emergency with all the equipment you intend taking. Uh, may I use your phone, Dave? Certainly. I'll wire Captain Carson at Newport to have the ship at the dock tomorrow. A telegram, please. got things going in a hurry. Isn't it thrilling to be actually loading for the treasure hunt? Yes, it is. But I still have my doubts as to the wisdom of your going along. Now, Dad, don't be selfish. You know it's going to be all fun from now on. I hope so, dear. Morland, uh, this is Drake. I can highly recommend him as first mate. Fine. If he's all right with Captain Carson, why, uh, he's all right with me. Well, I've already spoken to Captain Carson about him, and he's satisfied. But uh, how about a crew? I can get you some able seamen, but of course, Captain Carson will have to give me permission. Suppose we find a captain now. All right. Well, what's the dope? The boss has evidently put Drake over. He'll hire some many nose, and that'll give us half the crew. What about your end? Well, the boys are laying low at my place. We'll smuggle them aboard tonight when Drake's on watch. Meanwhile, the boss wouldn't be exactly sore if we got that chart and something happened to Morland. Pull off the trip, wouldn't it? Their trip, yes, but not ours. What do you mean? There's still a chance to get that chart from Morland.
Where's your boat? She's on to the next dock. Taking a chance, aren't you? Moreland might spot it. No. She's all painted new. All right. Stand by and keep Moreland covered every minute. Our chance may come before we expect it. Look up those men right away, Mr. Moreland. That's right, Drake. We want to get underway as soon as possible. Seems like a capable man. He is. You'll be surprised at the thoroughness with which he does things. Oh, say, Dick, there's some of my stuff coming aboard. I better go below and see it's stowed. All right. I was just telling Dorothy that we're lucky to have a man like Brassett along with us. Yet he's not the type of man I should think would be interested. Why not? Everybody's interested in a treasure hunt. Looks like we're having a little difficulties up there, Dick. I'd better go up and clear that gin block. Hold it. That's the motor of my plane. I hate to have anything happen to it. Now, that would be serious. Be careful, Dick. Remember that motor has no wings on it. Oh, don't worry. Anything happens to that block and fall would be just too bad. Oh, Daddy, do you think it will? you're enjoying it so far and tune in next week for the conclusion of Pirate's Treasure. Now if you ever miss a show you can always go to 
Don's Breakfast Cereal Show on YouTube, or look under Don O'Bailey under YouTube. And subscribe, and you'll never miss a show. Thanks again. Hope to see you next week. Stay safe. Good night.